and it's Sweden's Maya Stark and Morgan what a performance this is in her first LPGA event as a member. And we talk about this course in particular, how well so many of the players have played this golf course multiple times, but Maya in her first go around here at Columbia Edgewater. An AIG Women's Open champ and another of that talented rookie class, Hinako Shibuno. Yeah, she got off to a tough start today, bogeying the first hole, but has had five birdies since then, and looks like she could pick up a sixth. As a non-member to the ninth. The winner of the CP Women's Open a few weeks ago, Paula Rito, breaking through for her first victory on the LPGA right. Tour, and that's going to work out well. She'll have a putt for another birdie. And Ayaka Budaway looking for a fourth straight birdie like Maya Stark. She just made one of similar length on the previous hole. So both Stark and Budaway won during the LPGA's swing through Europe. Ayaka in Scotland. She's got so much experience. Doesn't feel like a rookie to us. To the eighth in Andrea Lee. This is the next to last group. Over to nine again and food away. This is from just 146 and the advantage of playing from the fairway. It's wide open green and She's produced a good shot. Yeah, middle of the green, nicely done. Well judged for distance. Let's go back over to seven, the third for Henselite. Taking a big full practice swing and uh, doing the same thing on the real shot. It was really well played. It was. That, that took a lot of confidence and trust. Well, this is kind of a new territory for her. Back over to seven and Saganda for an eagle. Uphill right to left breaking putt from the fringe. Well, she certainly gave that enough. That one for Birdie coming back for Saganda, who's level par for today. Oh, it moved more than she thought. There are some subtle breaks on these greens. There are some greens with uh, some undulation. You think of the two tiers at the 13th. 17 has a lot of movement, but there are some greens that look fairly flat. And those ones sometimes are the toughest ones to read. Going with a wedge, just a nice soft one. This has a really good line. Amaya Stark to the 11th. Tough hole location today. Tucked over on the right. It means this hole is playing as the fourth hardest on the golf course. And that is really good. That makes the hole look easy. Back over to the ninth. And Jack with her second. And a very, very good shot. And she's been playing the majority of her golf on the Epsom Tour. This is Daniela Darquea from Ecuador. She's another player who's uh, been playing a bit on the Epsom Tour in 2022. And that is a beauty. A two. Perfection from Darquea. Keep your eyes on Anako Shibuno today. She is uh, storming through the field. And that's another birdie. So Shibuno goes to five under par for the day with a drop shot on the opening hole, which is a tough opening hole. 11. Here is Brooke for a birdie. Could be awkward when it's against that longer cut. Yeah, it almost looked like she tried to pick the putter up a little bit faster going, or higher, I should say, going back there, Tom, to avoid that little bit of rough cut behind the ball. Brooke's not afraid to, to use the putter around the greens, like off the greens. You know, she'll put it out of the rough. Really nice stroke. Yeah, real international flavor. This is Andrea Lee for birdie. Getting that U.S. flag on the leaderboard, and it'll be climbing up there with that one. Three birdies going out for Andrea Lee, coming off that fifth place finish last week at the Kroger Queen City Championship. Walker! 
Yeah. And we saw her make how many putts like that on the way to her first victory in Canada when she gets that putter rolling. Yeah, the front part of this green slopes just the slightest bit away as well. Okay. The front edge is a good number. Yeah, that coming in low. Yeah, it's going to be just fine. 145 yards. She's pretty close to the front of this bunker, but going at it with an eight iron. Watch that really high. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> very good. That was phenomenal, Tom. To 12 and Hanako Shibuno. Going to join the leaders. Yeah, whole location all the way in the back today in the middle of two tiers. <laughs> It'll be a little bit of a quick cut, but well done. There's not a lot of space where that whole location is on 12 today. She's looking at the spot that she wants to get the ball to roll over. So that's what she's doing, and I think that's a very good place to think about what you want to do with your putting. It keeps it very simple and keeps it a lot close to where the actual putter face is. You know, really aggressive player. I don't think she's going to back down. There's a little bit of wind there in their face, maybe even more than Brooke feels. Brittany reassuring her that this was the right club. Yeah. Yeah. It certainly was, Tom. Let's see if she can kickstart something on this back nine. Yeah, not much in this putt. Yes. Nako Shibuno to make it a four way tie at the top. Still just 23 years old. She'll turn 24 in November. Only 20 when she won her first ever LPGA start, the AIG Women's Open at Woburn. Here's Columbia Edgewater member Caroline Inglis, who thrilled her fellow members with an ace at the 13th yesterday. She birdied yeah. this hole right before it. She birdies it here. Hanging in there. 10 under. You have to be so precise. Trying to take a little something off that wedge. Oh, that's yeah. so good. Oh, textbook. I've uh, just seen players struggle to control the ball on this green, and that was really, really well done. It's got 101. And it was a nice lie, quite a dry lie in the rough. Flag, though, all the way at the back of the green. Sensible play, though, just allowing for it to bounce back there. Okay, just going to funnel to the lower part of the slope. Third at 12th for food away. And this is from 99 yards. Wind off the left helping. I stopped quick. Helps being from the fairway. Back over to the 11th and the second for Seganda. Thankful to have this 54 degree in her hand instead of the sand wedge that she hit fat on the last hole. Stay there, stay there. That was a good shot because she just had a little bit of a downhill lie. To Caroline Inglis back on the tee at this par three. You don't see that very often there in that graphic, Tom. Par and ace. And pretty good tee shot today. She obviously likes this hole. Yesterday. So that the members couldn't get in and, and get a drink. She wouldn't have cost her as much money. Now Paula Rito's tee shot at 13. It's going to be on that back tier and give her a chance at birdie. I kind of envisioned all the members watching on TV if they weren't here and just flocking to the club. Over the 14th from left of the fairway, Ryan O'Toole. Oh, what a creative shot here, Grant. Wow. <laughs> Beautifully judged. Great place to work on your punch out game. did move. Yeah, it looked like she played that pretty straight there, Tom, from our camera angle and just broke out of the hole. We're back at the 13th, this is Caroline Inglis for birdie. This is for back-to-back -back birdies. And three birdies in the last four holes. So Caroline Inglis to 11 under par, and she is within touching distance of the lead. Beginning of the day, tied for the lead, 13. 
And a greens tee shot. There's a little bit of breeze, Tom, right now into these players, and this is a direct line. Good shot. <laughs> Enjoys this golf course. And Shibuno to stay at 11 under par. Yeah. Seems to have settled into playing on the LPGA Tour. A little bit of a different set of pressure. Caroline Inglis has had to play with some of that pressure this week at her home club. Second at 14, and that for a fourth birdie in her last five holes. And here is one of those recent winners, one right here at Columbia Edgewater two years ago in a smoke shortened event to just 54 holes. That was the week we weren't sure we were going to be able to play at all. Stop pretty quick and leave her a chance to get to 12 under. Awkward angle from this left hand side to the left hole location, but a lucky lie off some dry grass. Yeah, and she and actually might have gotten fortunate being out of the rough, did not having too much spin and allowed it to release back to that flag. We haven't seen anybody that close all day, Kay. Nako Shibuno for par. 16. Oh, she is <laughs> hanging in. Good par saves, 15 and 16. She lost her golf bag coming back from Ireland, pulled this one from her old set out of the garage to practice with and said, actually, I set up better over this one. It's a little more upright. I got my eyes more over the golf ball and has kept it in play. And I mean, she made over 400 yeah. feet of putts for the first three rounds yeah. in Canada. It, it was a putting performance like We've we've never seen. It was ins unbelievable. Yeah, this off uh, the fairway, just inside 60 yards. Okay. Oh. They should all try to replicate that Good shot. Carolina Inglis for a third straight birdie and her fourth on the back nine. Oh. You can hear the crowd support. It's awesome. It's it's got to be so much fun for her right now. Has 115 yards, a little bit into the wind. Just like a little distance control here. Yeah, Looks like a little bit of a tug. Look down, back down at it. Well, maybe a touch above her feet. She's been very, very close. Could this be the week she gets it done? Boot away, second at 14. From 90 yards, and the green does slope back towards the players. At the front half of the screen, I think that's why you're seeing the players stop and walk into that wind and on that slope there. Yeah, and it's playing as, as one of the, the fourth easiest hole on the golf course today. Yeah, just what she needed to do there, Kay. Just a foot away for the Liavu. So she gets to. 11 under, she's within two. But of the, of the players, I mean, her putting has looked really solid. I love her putting stroke, Karen. There you go. Hey, yeah. Same yeah. distance back and through every time. Very efficient. No movement of her head or her lower body. Okay, is she going to have a... Th Third shot? No, barely. Bogey free today. And remains bogey free. That putter continues to work. <laughs> Good. We've got a great look at it now from behind. Yep. I mean, she knew it. She knew it was going to be close. Oh, what a good. shot, Karen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. From nearly blocked out. Beautiful little fade. Hug the tree line. Polarito at 16. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Gareth Do it. Kluski's oh. instructions to work. Brooke at the 18th. Generally, I 
where she's positioned on this leaderboard. She is as about as cool, calm and collected a competitor as there is out here on tour. Nothing's going to fluster her. Even one of those subtle breaks here that would hurt that one. Okay. Tough closing holes here, Tom. Yeah, 17 with the whole location today. It's tricky, but not for Ryan O'Toole, one of six players in the field today, bogey free, and that gets Ryan to 11 under par and gives her a chance tomorrow. After a good drive here, just 88 yards left, ball a little above her feet. She's very good at manufacturing wedge shots. It's another beauty right there. Tied for the lead at 13 under, Ayaka Putaway at 16. Well, Fudaway likes to hit a draw, and with this right flag, it's going to be tough for her to get close to, and still good and safe play there. I don't think the middle of the green on 16 ever is really going to put you in a lot of trouble. Birdie putt at 18 for Anako Shibuno. Right, takes her to 12 under. She's one off the lead. How far back do you think is too far back? Well, we've seen a couple of really low scores so far this week. And I think the way the golf course will be set up tomorrow, we've seen some really tough pins on par fives today. I think some of them will play a little bit easier tomorrow. And the toughest putt for a right-hander. Keep the putter down low through the ball. Keep it on your line. Beautiful stroke. She was one over through her first six holes, beginning the day with a share of the lead. 17. Ulerito, second shot. So there are three tiers to this green. The middle one is very small, and that's where they put the flag today. And as long as that stays there, it's right on the top of the ridge now. Right on the gonna top. going to stay, Tom? Daniela Darkea. Par 3, 16th. I think she likes it. Oh, yes. Oh! oh nearly. Nearly for the second hole out of the day. Take her into a tie. Should fall just a fraction. Oh, didn't give it enough pace. There's a little bit of a tentative stroke when you hit that good of a shot into 17, Tom. You gotta give it a run. Yeah, very good look there. Be a little bit right of this flag to let it kick left. Not by much, but just enough. Yeah, don't. This is a high draw. That's oh, good. That's going to work down a little bit more towards the hole there. So, <laughs> Seganda for a birdie at 50. Well outside of 30 feet. Hasn't made a big putt in a while. Oh, there's oh. one. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. After the near ace, Daniela Darkea for birdie at 16. You saw 108 in the race to the CME Globe. And Paulo Rito, you see, tied for fourth, one back, second at the 18th. Now, this 18th's playing a good bit easier today, playing as the only the 10th hardest hole out here. It seems to be playing shorter. Been turning around here behind us, and we've seen some drives get down quite a bit further. 17. A yeah, good angle here for Andrea Lee. Doesn't make it uh, easy, though, by any means. It's a, that gets a little soft hop out of the rough. It took all the speed out of it. What a shot. What a, what a bounce. All right, do we, have a, we have a missed fairway here for food away. I mean, only by a couple of inches. This is from 125. There's a back into the wind off of the upslope. Just creeps on. Daniela Darkea, first player ever from Ecuador, still the only to get her LPGA Tour card. Not even full status on the LPGA Tour. Could she become a winner this weekend? A birdie at 18, a 68 for Darkea. Out of the equation, excuse me. Yeah, that'll do. It's really a popular nice. spot, Morgan, today, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just Understandably. a smart, smart play. On fairway bunker shot, she had a beauty at the ninth earlier today. That had a good sound, maybe leaking a little right. Oh, I think she'll take that. Yeah, nicely done. Smart play again. Bit of a rough start, fighting her way back, and she's still right in it. Just thinking about these three.